Hi, my name is Roger Van Pelt uh, for the Fresno Commodore Users Group, and welcome to Convex. Uh, we're going to look right now at uh, the latest version of International Karate, which has been recently updated, um, and it's got a lot of new features. So let's take a look. Nice opening uh, image there for the loading screen. Um, it's got lots of instructions here, the manual, nine pages worth, uh, and there are plenty of options. Let's uh, skip to the game here. I'm just going to have to go and do This will take a while. Let's press intro. Uh, yes. Classic. Choose locations. Trainer. Okay. Mode. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see. White belt. Suppress mini game. No. Suppress mini game two. No. Uh, player one color white. Option one. Player two red. Aim speed normal, yes. Uh, C key to end bout, sure. Yes. Space to force point, okay. Stop key to end mini game, yes. Control key to force. Uh, mini game two, yes, okay. One key s level, one key skip level, yes or no. Q key, quit game, yes, okay. Save preferences, no. Okay, right now it's in demo mode. You have to press F1 to start and begin. I'm white. <laughs> okay, 100 points. Let's see. Okay, and it's kind of hard to tell when you're actually hitting him. Well, obviously I'm a novice at this. Uh, I like the background art, Sydney, Australia. I think I'm impressing the judge back there in the background. Three thousand bonus points. Match over. Uh oh. Okay. And then you can enter your initials here. Um, oh well, let's do that. Okay, and to start the game. That's demo mode again. Okay, let's try that again. It's a pretty colorful game, and I like the action in it. 
the characters are nice and large so you can really see what they're doing. Uh, I like the details, like uh, all the buildings in the background, the water. Um, it is a two-player game as well as a uh, one-player against the CPU. Okay, right now we're going to take a look at Sam's Journey, which is a new game that's uh, by Knights of Bytes. And it's a platformer similar to the Super Mario Brothers series. Uh, it's a commercial game, but very much worth the money. You need, if you're using an NTSC machine, a RAM expansion unit. Uh, I'm going to be playing this with a joystick, however, if you can get one, I recommend uh, getting a Nintendo-style D-pad. Uh, let's take a look at it here. Protovision. That would be Sam. Got nice background scrolling. Many thanks to the testers. Okay, I can start with game one, which I've got selected here. And play. As you can see, it starts with a map similar to Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm going to start out at Happy Grassland, the first level. Okay, you can jump with the up direction, forward, back. You can pick up objects and throw them. And get killed by bees. Let's see. Restart level. Fortunately, you can restart several times in this game. Okay. Let's try some better timing here. And get killed again. Doing terrible. Try to run this B here. Oh, didn't work. There, fine. Somehow I knew that was going to happen. Okay, let's progress a little bit here. Ooh, level. Okay, let's start again. Okay, we have suits here. Where, see, now I'm a pirate. I've got a sword. And I can take care of this bee. Pretty easy, I think. That's it. But I didn't. Fortunately, it lets you restart again as many times as you want.
Let's see if I can make it through this level. Past these flags, uh, you start back at that point again. Ah. Restart from checkpoint. And I'm the pirate again, that's cool. you have to hit twice. And forget the suit. I'm a ninja now. Let's see if I can remember what to do. Secret room here. the ninja suit and not the dark. Okay, so down there below, I think that's the ninja suit. If I can get to it. That opens up a passage somewhere else in the level here that you have to try to get through in a limited amount of time. Mm 
Okay, there's the door I need to go through with it. It's fine, you can go down. Last checkpoint. Okay, well, my uh, dying all over the place notwithstanding, it's a really great game. Um, I recommend uh, everyone who's got uh, C64 to purchase this. Um, I really strongly recommend getting a, a D-pad because it, it just it feels much more natural that way. Um, again, highly recommended. Very fun game. Okay, now we have table soccer or foosball for the C64 or counter 128 uh, by prior art 2018 uh, and very simple gameplay you can uh, play against the CPU or two player Let's see there's your options uh, number of goals three to win that's uh, the default um, F1 let's see you can select up to 10 goals to win. Um, CPU versus player, or uh, port two, player two. Uh, skill level for the CPU, low or high, let's go low. Okay. Or high anyway. Okay, now we're in game mode, and I'm red. It automatically switches you to the position of the ball, so you don't have to worry about um, changing the shafts by yourself. There's one goal. Gameplay is simple and it's fun. It's pretty intuitive. Of course, I'm going to think my skill level is up to that of uh, Joey and Chandler from Friends, but uh, I'm not doing too bad. For two wins. Let's see. Try some different options here. That you just scored on me. kicked it in myself. <laughs> oh well, I'm not doing good in this one. CPU wins. Well, it's been fun having to look at these uh, games for the Commodore 64. I um, hope everyone enjoys their time at Convex. And for the Fresno Convex user group, uh, Roger Van Pelt saying bye for now. <laughs>